Good morning, it's Bill Van Loo. It is just before 7 a.m. on Saturday morning, and this is where today's vlog starts. I'm getting ready to head outside and head into school. And I think I should be able to capture a pretty gorgeous sunrise on the way in. So it's, uh, it's 7.20 a.m. and right now I am standing on the bridge uh, over the Huron River. This is the river I drive past every morning on my way to work and I decided I'd finally take the time to stop and capture some time lapse of it on my way in this morning for my, uh, for my Saturday. So while my time lapse is capturing, I figured I'd take a second to kind of explain what I'm doing uh, this morning. It has been uh, nine weeks now since the school year started for uh, teaching, and it's also been nine weeks now that I've been in grad school, uh, for this semester that is. So it's been a really, really busy nine weeks. Um, the last vlog that I did was about two weeks before school started in the summertime. And so now what I'm left with is um, each of my days and weeks has been super, super busy for the last 11 weeks. Uh, but I wanted to catch everybody up a little bit on what I've been doing and uh, kind of take you behind the scenes and into my life a little bit as I do my work this morning and kind of show you what I've been up to, what I'm doing right now, and uh, hopefully talk about a few future plans uh, during today. So, see how the time lapse is doing. I think that time lapse is going to turn out really cool. It is time to head back in the car and drive into school so I can actually get today started for reals. One beautiful thing about going into the school on a Saturday morning like this, nobody else around and I can get just a ton of stuff done. So the STEAM lab is my classroom. It is my teaching space here at Ann Arbor STEAM. And so the work that I've got to do this morning um, involves a couple of things. We've got some machines that I need to work on setting up and getting dialed in so that students can use them next week. Um, I've got to just physically clean some stuff up. And uh, also we've got our big celebration of student learning coming up, our expo coming up in about a week and a half. And so there's some stuff that I want to try and get ready for that. So my plan is to sit uh, down here to work down here for a couple hours at least this morning and uh, work on setting up those machines and cleaning things up and probably listen to some podcasts and uh, basically just have a Saturday morning of some quiet, dedicated work time, which in the normal life of a classroom teacher, you just really never, ever get. So I'm looking forward to this, actually. Even though it's early, it's 7.40 a.m. or so right now, I'm, I'm really happy to be here and able to get some of this work done. First order of business is getting my desk slash teacher area cleaned up. Such a mess right now. It always happens that in a really busy week like the one I've had, that my desk inevitably gets trashed. So it's time to work on getting that cleaned up first, I think. All right, so my desk is mostly cleaned up, or at least clean enough to go with for right now. And one of the things that I want to work on this morning is getting some test prints done on this 3D printer. This is the PrinterBot Simple Metal. Uh, I have had these for a while, but they had to get put away in storage, and um, I'm about to start using them for a couple of weeks with my 6th grade specifically. I've had a couple of 7th grade students helping me set this up over the last few days, which has been great. I love 
love getting kids involved in being able to do that stuff. But to make sure that things are really ready to go, um, I want to run just the last little fine tuning things and run some test prints on this to make sure that everything is good to go with this, knowing that it's going to get a lot of use in the next couple of weeks. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's at 0 0.3. I think I'm going to try running a print of something real now. Overall, it looks pretty good. Maybe not perfect. A little bit flaky on the back. But overall, pretty good. Pretty good. good enough to go with for sure, and we can always tweak it from there. So far today has been a success. I got the printer bot simple up and running. It printed a nice copy of the school logo. Uh, so we'll print some of that this week with my sixth grade design and modeling class and we'll probably tweak some parameters and get that thing really dialed in. Uh, and I've got some middle school helpers in seventh grade that I think will help a bunch with that. And now I'm gonna move on to the X-Carve and my goal for this is to try and carve um, some things that I've never done before. Starting with pink foam, which I've heard carves beautifully. Um, on the X-Carve, but is quite messy, so this is going to be a first test with the foam, and I'm going to make a, uh, a version of one of the things that my 6th and 7th grade design and modeling students have been working on, which is the pegboard. Wow. So this is the last machine I'm working on now. I've been working on setting up the printer bot simple here. This is the one I put together with my son. I think I have things dialed in. I'm gonna try a first real print with it now. We'll see how it works. Well, after lots of goofing around, I was able to print a tiny little scaled down version of the Steam logo on the Printerbot Simple Makers Edition, so that's pretty sweet, knowing that I can get a decent print off of this. Now, I did have this right in the middle of the print bed, basically, and it's pretty small. The, uh, the other model I tried to do first, the wrench, did not work at all, so live and learn. Hopefully this guy will uh, be able to do some printing for us this week coming up and in the coming weeks. So it's actually Saturday evening now. I spent some of my time this afternoon hanging out with my family after I got back from school. And then I spent some time this evening working on uh, work for my graduate class that I'm taking. I'm taking a qualitative research class right now. Uh, it's a new subject that I'm studying as part of my educational technology uh, master's program through Eastern Michigan. Um, so I'm back in my shop now. I wanted to just give you a quick overview of a couple projects I've been working on. Uh, so one thing, I've been working with some reclaimed wood, and this is going to be destined to become a new pedal board for my guitar. So I've been designing and building that out of some reclaimed wood, and I'm really excited for that project to have that in progress. And I'll have a full video of that. 
And then I also got my workbench video put up over the last week or so. I'll put a link in the description of this video for that. And uh, just last weekend I got another light fixture, which I will hopefully put above the workbench to give some really nice light back in here. So that's basically where things are. So thanks for checking out the vlog. It's been a while. I appreciate you watching and look for another one at some point and more project videos to come. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to my YouTube channel or check me out on Instagram at Bill Van Lue.